Hey, what's up guys, it's Ram from Team DIG back with another video. Today we have our newly constructed ice barrier deck. Um, keep in mind, I'm trying to keep this as close to the um, structure deck as possible, but I'm gonna be honest with you, the extra deck is uh, anything but. Um, but this is something you can take the locals, have fun with, um, tinker it and twist with it a little bit as much as you want to and uh, get to your preferred build. Also, shout out to David Garcia. Um, this is about to be fire for you. This is about to be fire for you. So we're just going ahead and get right into it. First, we're starting off with the main deck. We have Triple Revealer, uh, starter of the deck. Probably the best card that came out so far from the deck. Um, basically what it does is um, you can discard one card from your hand, special summon any Ice Barrier Tuner from your deck. But you're locked into waters, which is fine with this deck. You don't mind that. Um, you must have an ability of when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it instead of discarding for ice barrier effect, which is pretty dope. Um, but we mainly just use it for its um, its ability to summon another tuner, summon a tuner rather. And then we also play triple seeker. Um, so extender, any ice, if you have if you control ice barrier, you can special out the speaker. And when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to especially a level one aqua token. Ice Barrier, which is pretty cool. And we also are playing Triple Prior of the Ice Barrier. Um, also has the ability of when you control the Ice Barrier, special summon it. And oh, I'm sorry, let me move this up real quick. A little messy right there, but it also has the ability where you can special itself uh, if you control an Ice Barrier. And then you can tribute it a special Ice Barrier from the graveyard, so that's pretty cool. Um, it locks you out of summoning level fives or higher during the turn that you summon this this way, but for your start combo, you do not care. Um, and then for the last of the non-tuner ice barriers, you play one General Wayne and one Zujin. Um, Zujin just an extender. Uh, when he's in the graveyard, except for the turn he was sent there, you can summon him back out by targeting a level three or higher, I believe, level three or higher. Um, a, le a level three or higher water, special it by de uh, decreasing the level of the the original monster that you were targeting. Um, so this also helps you get into your you know, your synchro plays like with Trishula and Trishula Zero. Um, but Wayne is here because um, he's a free body, 2100 attack that searches out for any ice barrier spell trap you want. As long as you um, control an ice barrier, your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this for free, or you can summon it off of the. Um, the spell card, the wins from your deck, which that's pretty cool. So that's where you need to play those. And then for the tuners, you're playing double Hexa. Um, Hexa is a very flexible tuner in this deck. You can send any level um, level three or lower ice barrier from your deck and it becomes that level. So um, this is basically a level one, level two, or level three tuner, depending on what you're sending. Um, so definitely definitely to play that and we also play one cryomancer um it helps when you want to turn the uh X hexia into level two or you also use a zujin for that by the way that's a little interaction there where you uh send zujin off of the hex hexa but we also play him because he's an aqua yeah level two aqua that can be someone off a uh, hockey firebrax we'll get back to that part though and then the one card we still do not have because uh, nobody seems to have it we're gonna put a proxy up for it um this is Geomancer. It's the only um, thing you care about is the fact that they can discard for uh, a water monster's effect, which you will come up. And then we also play a little frog engine, triple spot, double dupe, double Ronin Toad. Um, play this simply because I love the frog engine. Uh, simple gets to the point. You're playing all water, so swap frog is just literally just has free fodder to do what he pleases. Um, on the fact of like Lily just him by himself can get you into a totally awesome before you even start your plays, which is pretty dope. Um, I also want to play because I felt kind of slighted on the fact that the, the uh, structure decks had Duke Frog and Ronald Tone, but they didn't have any swaps, so I, which I found that kind of offensive. Like, how are you going to put in his boys, but not put in the main guy? That's kind of disrespectful. I'm not going to lie to you. Then we have uh, also a little Atlantean package. Triple Dragoon, want to see it in your starting hand. When you uh, have your revealer to do your uh, full combo, which I'll show you guys um, in a little bit. Um, also for the combo, you play Netibus Prince. Pretty standard stuff here. 
Um, you play Lapras, Lapis Dragon as well. Um, what this does is when it's searched from graveyard to well, graveyard to hand specially or from deck to hand specially, it's a tuner. So it uh, helps you get some hockey fire plays quicker. And then for you to do your um, hand controlling and scar two cards from your opponent hand, that's why we have the um, Moon Glacier, which is also searchable for Dragoon. And that's it for the monsters. Very, uh, briefly going to the spells because it's, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, triple Medallion, it searches out any of your ice barriers. Uh, triple Med Ray of Greed, it's amazing draw power for a water deck. Basically, it shuffles back two waters, you draw three cards in return. It's, it's basically a way to fix your hands. Um, triple Wins, I was playing two efforts, but I like the three. Uh, it helps you just get into your villa or any ice barrier you need by distributing um, ice barriers on your, on your board for the ones you need, basically. Uh, so basically these just say revealers. Revealers or General Wayne, whatever the case may be. Uh, double freezing and one Monster Reborn. Um, why, ways to extend and get monsters from the graveyard for yourself. Um, I would have played the three, but obviously Monster Reborn is a superior um, recursion. So that's it for the main deck. It's uh, 40 cards. So remember, keep in mind this is a combo deck and um, you're basically just trying to the scar cards from your opponent's hand set up some of the gates. Um, like I said, if you want to make this more competitive or more, uh, more, um, yeah, more competitive, I want to say, for like locals and stuff like that, probably just consider taking with the ratios, ass pills, and traps, stuff like that, whatever the case may be. Um, extra deck. We're playing double toe because we can easily make it. Uh, you saw the priors, the priors of aquas. You have the, the frog engine. You have the um, cryomancer. So this is easy to get into, and then you play. One of Abyss Dweller because you're playing a whole bunch of level 4 waters and Bahama Shark because you're playing a whole bunch of level 4 waters. Why not? Um, you actually go through this, go into this during your combo. Uh, Lynx, Hockey Fibrex, best best one in the deck. Phoenix, Crow Enemy, um, helps to stand. Uh, 2000 body on a Link 2 is pretty good. And then Unicorn, uh, that's it for Lynx, and then everything else is just Synchros. Um, Desert Locus, you go, for, you go to some opponent's turn by banishing your Hockey Fibrax, make them discard a card. Or you also can go into Riser. Um, you can manipulate, manipulate its scales and then, not scales, manipulate its level. And then you can synchro off whatever you need. Um, so that was it for the Synchro Tuners. And then we play two level four, level eights, excuse me, uh, Risen and Savage. You play the uh, Dragite if you do not have the Link materials to, to um, to have Boreal Savage have a negate, so, and this is always gonna be live because you have nothing but waters in your graveyard, except for like maybe the Desert Locust if you once you go into this. So, yeah, and then, then the Savage is Omni negate if you can get into it. And then we also play Crystal and Phoenix to get rid of all back row, a Trishula and Trishula Zero. Uh, so that's it for the extra and the main. Uh, we're gonna go into a quick. We're gonna do um, probably two. Two combos, two uh, two combos, and a test hand. Yeah. All right, combo time. Combo number one is Revealer plus uh, Dragoons. This will get you into um, sniper three cards out of your opponent's hand and one negate with just these two cards. So you're gonna start off with Revealer. Use Revealer's effect, discarding the Dragoon to summon out your Geomancer. Um, this will trigger Atlantia Dragoon to add one Sea Serpent to hand, which you will add um, Netabus, and then you will use Geomancer's effect. Doesn't matter what attribute you call, just so you can get Abyss effect to summon back the Dragoon. And then from here, you overlay these two into your Bahamut Shark. And find it, there it is, Bahamut Shark. Then use the Bahamut Shark's effect, detaching the Dragoon, keep that in mind, that's very important, to summon out your totally awesome. Cool. Then you will get Dragoon's effect again. This time you will add your Moon Glacier. Okay. So now from here, um, we're gonna move to the side a little bit so we can get more space going here. From here, you can then link these two away because it's a monster and a tuner to help you Fibrax. From here, you can summon out a tuner from your deck. I personally prefer to go into um, Cryomancer because he's an Aqua that can be used 
to be sent to the graveyard for a totally awesome defense, you're gonna gotta use totally awesome himself. So I think that's a pretty cool interaction. That's why I probably use that one. Um, but continuing on, this is where you now have five waters in the graveyard. So you can slap down your uh, Moony Glacia. Uh, it doesn't matter where you really where you put it. Um, discard two cards from your opponent's hand. And then when that when you pass turn, um, during their main phase, you can banish the Hyphy Fibrax to summon out the Digital Locust and discard another card from their hand. So that's basically three cards out of their hand already. Plus your negate. Um, and it's just with two cards. So you, if you had other cards, this probably go way further. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm about to show you my combo, what I personally like, where it's this exact same combo, but adding prior to it. All right, combo number two. This is where it gets bonkers. Keep in mind though, that these are all searchable. All of, these are all uh, three ofs. Um, medallion, medallion, plus their self, that's six of each. Plus the wins, that's nine of each. Um, Dragoon, search a Dragoon. Um, like, I'm not gonna get to all that. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and just get the combo started. So based off the way you started last time. Revealer, use Revealer's effect, discard. Summon out your Geo, oh, not the camera. Um, now you do Dragoon's effect, Netibus Prince, Geomancer, doesn't matter, attribute you call, discard the Netibus, Netibus's effect, summon back out the Dragoon. Overlay these two into your Bahamut. Bahamut's effect, detaching the Dragoon to summon out the Totally Awesome. Okay, so far so good. Um, Dragoon effect because you activated a Water's effect using him. Moon Glacia. Turn these two into your Halki. Halki effect. Summon out Cryomancer. Now, you have five. Glacia discards two. Now, this is where it defers because usually you would just pass right here. Instead, we're going to summon out the Prior because you control an Ice Barrier. They're both level two aquas, so that equals, equals two are nice. Um, oh, where is it? There we go. Okay, I thought we lost it for a minute. Oh no. Our second totally awesome. So now when you pass turn, you can do in, on your opponent's standby phase, detach. It doesn't matter which, matter which one you detach. Get you a frog, which you can either be used for the negates for the, the totally awesomes, or what I like to do, um, opponent's turn, Fibrax, go into desert. Three cards out of your opponent's hand now, because two from Glacia, one from uh, Desert. And then you can sink these two into your Dragites. So now you have three uh, three negates plus three discards. So you basically handled your whole, your opponent's whole entire hand. And that's something you can super easily do in the deck. And this is with three cards, keep in mind, two still in your hand that you haven't even touched. Uh, so that's why this is pretty cool to me personally if it goes on hinder because now you have all these negates and they on top of the fact of You say you negate with this totally awesome uses effect you add back the swap frog Or whatever the case may be to re recur and start playing again next turn. So Yeah, so now I'm gonna do a quick test hand and then uh, we'll wrap the video up All right now we're gonna do our um, one test hand and then we're gonna wrap up the video. I'm trying to make this quick. I just wanted to get a nice shuffle though, because you know we just did a whole profile. So just get a nice little shuffle going. Uh, uh, that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. Let's hope we don't get a bad hand. But usually every hand can at least end on a totally awesome and plus the, um, one snipe. But the, you know, the minimum I've seen so far is yeah, definitely. Um, Two, two negates and one discard is the worst I've seen so far. So now obviously the best you, you've seen it was the um, three discards, three negates. So let's just hurry up and get this one on. Revealer, Geomancer, um, Dragoon, Lapis, Prior. Okay, so for starters, this is really bad because you don't want to use in your starting hand, to be honest. Um, Yep, has to be from deck. So we're gonna change our play style a little bit because um, that being in hand is pretty bad. So we're gonna put these to the side because these are not even gonna be used. Um, we'll start off with the Revealer. Use Revealer's effect, discarding the Lancy Dragoon. Um, 
let's summon out let's summon out maybe our hexa yeah let's summon out hexa then we'll use dragoon's effect adding has to be a sea serpent might have dragoon add another dragoon but we'll add moon glacier because i want to see where this goes okay so now we'll use hex effect sending zujin yeah zujin send zujin okay so now we can link these two into Hmm. Link these into a coral and use coral's effect. Summon back out the hexa. Then tease out to those two for Halki. Halki's effect, you're gonna go ahead and get the Cryomancer. Bam, here's our Cryomancer. Um, we have five in Grave. So we can slide down Moon Glacier. We have discards one. Um, special the prior. Hopefully those two. Trying to keep out of the way of Geo, Geo, uh, Geo as well as Anima. So safer zone. Go into Totally Awesome. Okay, so. These two are basically useless in the end right now, so we'll let them be. But we're gonna pass turn. Um, opponent standby. Toe is gonna activate. Sending swap. Now I'm not sure if you can get the swap's effect on its summon. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you can, this is where you could send your your Ronin Toad or your Doofrog, probably the Ronin Toad. Uh, but if not, then let it be. Um, so now we're going to. Want to let our opponent activate something in main phase? Chain. Fibrax. Desert Locust. So now we have three cards out of our hand. Moon Glacier plus the Desert Locust. So now you should have possibly three cards that's still in left in hand. Um, then, next action, you can sync these two into your Savage Dragon or your. Um, Dragite, but in this situation you have Coral and Enemy in, in the graveyard, so you can go into your Savage, Savage Effects. Probably put it in a safer zone, like up here or something. So you have two Negates and it's a 4,000 beater. So now you end up with um, three cards that go out of their hand and you have two two more Negates. And then let's say um, you Negate with the Totally Awesome. Totally Awesome can then add a card back to your hand. Uh, based on what is in your hand, I will probably go for the Swap. Or the uh, Reviller. The Reviller can possibly get you into a Trish or a Trish Zero play next turn. Um, swap can get you into other Toads. So that's what you want. And this because I'm just going to go for a Swap for Rook. Because so now you have two cards to pitch off of the Swap to get other Swap with other Frogs in Grave. But basically, you end up with three cards discarded and two Negates off of those two, off of those three cards. And these are your bricks in your hand, basically. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, it's Ran from Team DFG. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, feel free to check out our Facebook page where we have exclusive content as well as updates. Links in the description. Thanks so much again guys and see you in the next video.